welcome all today we learn how to install mysql on windows operating system so friends mysql is one of the most popular database management system available so let's see how you can install it to do that first of all open google and uh, you can type download mysql for windows you can see uh, this link download mysql installer click on this link so after clicking on this link this page will be displayed and you can see here this is the microsoft windows uh, operating system and uh, there are two installers are available one is like the windows x86 32 bit msi installer which is of 2.3 mb and the second one is your windows x86 32 bit msi installer which is of 435.7 mb so download this one so you have to download the second one which is of 435.7 mb file just click on download this is 32 bit but this will work for both both 32 bit and 64 bit just click on download so after clicking on download it will ask you login or sign up but you can simply um, do no thanks the start my download okay and after clicking that your download will start i have already downloaded this file okay it will take some time and you can see this is the file my sql installer community 8.0.28.0 so just double click on this one when you press double click this will start running You can see here it is telling please wait while Windows configure MySQL install community. Okay. So just give some time. You can see it. the installation has started. So you can see uh, this window is displayed. It is asking you, please select the setup type that suits to your use case. Simply remain as it is developer default. Then click next. So when you click next, you can see it uh, like uh, some uh, there are some requirements are there. You simply click here, execute. So the files which are not available, they will be downloaded here. Like it is saying, download 30%, 50%, like that. So every each of this file will be downloaded. So it will take some time. So it is asking you Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 to 19. Okay, it is required. Okay, so we must install it. So just click here, I agree. So during installation, you must connect your laptop with internet. Then click install. So this file will be installed within some time. So you can see setup successful, then close it. Okay. Then you can see here this telling I just uh, there are three buttons are there back, next, cancel. You just click next. So it is asking you one more product uh, requirement not satisfied. Okay, do you want to continue? Yes. Then ready to install. All these things will be ready to install. MySQL server, workbench, cell, router, connector. So just click execute. So click execute. These files will be installed. So just wait for some time. It will take some time. All these files will serially install. Okay. You can see uh, one by one all these files are installed. Okay. Server, workbench, cell, router, and connector for Python. Okay. Documentation, sample, example. 
all our status is complete. Then click next. And product configuration, simply click next. Then here, uh, the type and uh, networking, nothing to select, the port number is selected. So simply just click next. Here, nothing to do, simply click here, next. Here it is asking you to give MS SQL root password. So any password you can give. So for I'm giving you, let's say my password is Python. Python. Then repeat password. I'm giving Python. Okay. The password strength is weak. So it doesn't matter. Okay. You can give any password which you can remember. Then click next. Then here Windows service. Simply click next. Then here uh, apply configuration and here you click execute. Okay. You can see here the configuration for MySQL server 8.0.28 was successful. Click finish to continue. So just click finish here. Okay. Then product configuration, just click here next. Then click here, finish. Then click next. Then it is asking you connect to server. Okay. So username is root, password. Just check it whether your password is correct or not. You have given the password as what? Python. I have given Python. So check, click check. The connection succeeded. Okay. Then click here, next. Then click here, apply configuration. Click here, execute. The configuration for samples and examples are successful. Click finish to continue. So click finish. Then click here again, next. Then click finish. Installation, finally installation is completed. Click finish. Okay. So right now the installation is over. Just close it. This is the micro, uh, MySQL workbench. I'll close it. Okay. Let us uh, just try uh, open it, open MySQL, check it whether it's working or not. For that, uh, what you do, you just click here, click the start button here and type here, MySQL command line client. You can see here, MySQL command line client. Okay. MySQL command line client. It is asking you to enter the password, you can see. So what password? Password I have given Python. So give your Python. So you can see here the password is successful. Okay. And you can see the MySQL prompt. Here you can see the databases. So data bases, then give a semicolon. So these are some databases which are already there. Even you also create your own databases and you can work on work on this. You can create tables. Okay. But after this video, only contents how to install. My square. Okay, so for today, that's all. Thank you.